Boxing King Media in association with Boxro Alexander Usyk. Uh, a big shock in the boxing game. This, nobody expected this to happen. Uh, you've signed with Skill Challenge in Saudi Arabia. So I've got to ask you first of all, what led to this moment? Uh, Ти підписуєш співпрацю з Skill Challenge. Скажи, будь ласка, що до цього привело? Я думаю, що з цим підписанням ми зробимо великий поєдинок. We signed this cooperation for a couple of fights because our big objective is to make the biggest fight of the history. Interesting stuff. And we're going to come back to the biggest fight in boxing history. I want to ask you, we're in Saudi. I know, I know you speak a lot of different languages. Have you picked up any Arabic? I know you've learned a lot of different languages. Did you learn something in Arabic? I've learned for the next time. I've learned, but it's very difficult. It's not an easy assignment for me. I promise you, I'm going to learn something special for the next occasion. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. So, um, you've got all the belts, apart from one belt. Is that the ultimate goal? Is that why we're here? This is why you've signed Skills Challenge? Because you think these guys are the only ones that could get that Tyson Fury fight? Tell me, please, you have almost all the points that there is no one left. And for you to get the only one that there is no one left, Ти підписуєш цю співпрацю разом зі Skill Challenge, аби дістати його, тому що саме ці хлопці в силах організувати цей поєдинок. Так точно, так і є. Ми, окрім того, що ми будемо співпрацювати і надалі, ми хочемо великий поєдинок, який Skill Challenge, я думаю, що зможе організувати. Exactly. You think you you say exactly the thing that we are thinking of. Uh, we are quite confident that Skill Challenge is capable of organizing this historical event, the fight between Alexander Usyk, the unified heavyweight champion, and the WBC champion uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, beside uh, the big cooperation that uh, we might gonna have in the future, this fight stays the priority for uh, for all of us, for the whole world. And I'm going to come back again to the Fury fight with regards to signing the Skill Challenge. Tell me a little bit about your meeting with Prince Khalid. How was that? Because obviously first impressions count. You've obviously worked with him before. You know, what were the key elements in signing with him apart from getting that beauty fight? Were there any other elements? Obviously, you know, trust plays a big part in boxing as well. Скажи, будь ласка, перед тим, як ми ще раз повернемось до великого поєдинку, ти зустрічався з принцем Халідом. Можеш розкрити якісь подробиці цієї співпраці, яку щойно було підписано? Ні, ну я не можу розкривати якісь таємниці співпраці, але все, що буде доступно і все, що вони, все, що принц Халід сам скаже, і чи співробітники, тоді а так якісь таємниці ми не можемо говорити. Uh, I can't disclose any uh, secret information that contains in the, but there, are, but there is not too much. Everything that is public is more or less what we agreed about and uh, uh, what we signed for. That's why we uh, make this signing to declare our cooperation, our co-promotion, to create something that has never been created in boxing before. Interesting stuff. Uh, Usyk, you're fighting Daniel Dubois next. Am I right in saying the fight is still going ahead for August 26th, the rumored date in Poland? Чи правда, що твій наступний поєдинок – це Деніел Дюба 26 серпня в Польщі? Так, ми плануємо це зробити. Yes, this is what we gonna do, uh, what we planning to do on August 26 in the city of Wroclaw, in Poland. Daniel Dubois is my WBA mandatory. Are you aware that Daniel has left his trainer Shane McGuigan, who he's had a lot of success with, um, and he's now going to be trained by um, Daniel Chizora's former trainer? Чи знаєш ти, що він розійшовся зі своїм тренером Макгуіганом і зараз його буде тренувати колишній тренер Дерека Чезори? Мені абсолютно не цікаво, хто з ким розійшовся і хто з ким працює. Мені головне, щоб мій механізм, моя команда і всі ті люди, які мені допомагають, були зі мною. There's not a significant difference for me who split it with whom and who's gonna cooperate with whom. For me, the main thing is that my team and uh, my training camp, they stay solid 
and uh, whatever we do in the training camp is reflected in the ring during the fight. How good is Daniel Dubois compared to the people you fought before? You've basically fought anyone, you fought the best of your era. How good is Daniel Dubois? Як би ти порівняв Даніела Дюбуа із своїми колишніми, колишніми суперниками, ти бився з багатьма з них, з найкращими. Де б ти поставив ранг Даніела Дюбуа? Це хороший хлопець, молодий, перспективний хлопець. Так що нам треба буде готуватися не менш крутіше, аніж до кожного поєдинку треба тренуватися дуже хорошо. Не можна просто зробити на 20% чи на 50% роботу і виходити на, на ринг. Треба на 150% робити роботу. Те, що я і буду робити в тренувальному таборі. He's a young kid, not a kid, he's a young man. He's the regular WBA champion. And uh, you cannot look at him like he's number two or number three. He's my next opponent, so he's number one for me and he's my highest priority. You cannot prepare yourself for the next fight for 70, 75 or 50 percent. You have to get 150 percent for the next fight. No matter who you're fighting, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Frank Warren, Daniel Dubois, promote, uh, suggested that your value is very low. Uh, he said the purse bid was $8 million and he suggested that your value is $6 million. If you was fighting Tyson, it'd be worth, you know, the fight would be worth a lot more. So basically saying the reason that you was offered less money was because the purse bid for that fight reflects your value. Uh, your thoughts and them comments? Франк Уоррен, промоутер Дюба, сказав, і Фьюрі сказав, що твоя справжня вартість ринкова дуже низька через те, що е, виграні торги були із сумою 8 мільйонів. Це означає, що твоя вартість всього 6 мільйонів, а з Тайсоном Фьюрі це може бути трішки більше, тому що там Тайсон Фьюрі з Діліаном Вайтом було 40 з чимось мільйонів. Коротше кажучи, нагори всякої єрунди. Ну, тоді, коли я вискакую в поле і сідаю на коня і валю галопом, це теж треба, треба дуже бути підготовленим, треба фізично, щоб сила була, ти повинен бути сильний. А коли вони говорять про молоко, ну добре, що, кукуруза, світло, все. Я думаю, це дуже важливо, скажи мені. When I get on my horse in the middle of the field and I gallop my horse as fast as I can, <laughs> I need a really, a really good conditioning for that. But when they start speaking about milk, corn, wheat, what can I say? It's difficult to comment. Uh, <laughs> I, I, was, was that the right answer? I feel I don't know if you're telling the truth or not. Все, що говорить Тайсон Фюри, він говорить в дзеркало. Він стає і починає говорити в дзеркало. Він від цього кайфує. Все. Everything that Tyson Fury and his people say, they say it to the mirror. So the, the obvious question is, if you get Daniel Dubois out of the way, uh, I've, as Prince Khalid promised you to try and get that fight in December, but let's just say if it doesn't happen and the money breaks the fight, who else is there out there that, uh, that you could still get out of bed for? Uh, ви домовились, що принц Халід uh, зробить поєдинок в грудні з Тайсоном Фюрі, але якщо цього не вдасться, що б ти розглядав на майбутнє? В нас є плани з принцем Халідом і з моєю командою, я не можу про це зараз говорити. I have plans with Prince Halid and uh, with my team, but I cannot disclose them right now. All the jokes aside, is Tyson Fury the toughest challenge that awaits you from all the potential opponents you've got, or is there somebody greater than him, do you think? Say it again. Is Tyson Fury potentially the, the toughest challenge he's got left in his boxing career? Is Tyson Fury the best opponent that has left in your boxing career? I've been with him since I've boxed. I'm the best opponent for myself. I didn't box with him yet, so I can't answer this question. My toughest opponent is and has always been is, been, is myself. Interesting. I just want to get your opinion on Anthony Joshua. A lot of people are saying that he's not the same fighter mentally uh, since his Usyk loss, uh, so since his Ruiz loss. But obviously, you've beaten him twice since. Um, what do you make of Anthony Joshua as a fighter? Do you think he could still challenge some of the other heavyweights out there? Because people are judging him on your uh, two wins over him. Багато людей кажуть, що Ентоні Джошо вже не той після поразки мексиканцю. 
але ти виграв в нього двічі. І багато людей тебе оцінюють через ті дві перемоги над Ентоні Джошу. Що ти думаєш, який він боксер зараз? Мені здається, він чудовий боксер, якому треба трошки часу для відновлення. А той, хто каже, хто, судді, хто? Вони виходили в ринг, вони боксували, вони тренувались. I think he just needs a little more time to recover. He's a great fighter and a great personality. And who are those people who judge him? Who are the judges? Have they ever entered the ring? Have they ever trained and felt that pain? They have no right to say so. Для того, щоб хоч якось говорити про боксера, про олімпійського чемпіона, яким є Ентоні Джошуа, чемпіон світу, треба хоча б один раунд вийти в спарінг. Тобто це три хвилини. If you want to talk about the fighter, you have to at least once in your life get into the ring and get a sparring session, at least for one round for three minutes. Then you will have the right. Stuff. And the last message to Tyson Fury in English, if you can, is called your gappy teeth and all sorts of stuff for the last few weeks on Instagram. Any final message in English to Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury тебе там оскарбляв в останній час. Чи є в тебе на англійською мовою меседж для Тайсона Фьюрі? Гриді Беллі, я люблю тебе. Дякую дуже.